Good day! In this video, we are going to try and solve question 2C, part 1 and part 2 of the 2019 level 2 36 paper probability method. Without further ado, let's try to solve question 2C, part 1. Taylor makes plates at her company. Her plates have a mean weight of 450, which is the same as the previous example in part A and part B. However, the standard deviation of the weights of the plates Taylor, Tyler, Taylor makes is higher than the standard deviation of the weight plate for all the company overall. What can be deduced about this, about the way Taylor makes her plates compared with the company overall? So you can see that the mean is the same, but her standard deviation is higher. Okay. So what it means that having a standard, standard higher standard deviation means that there is a larger spread or variation on the weight of Taylor's plate compared to the overall company's plate. So in other words, the com her company plate, Taylor's company's plate, are less consistent. She's made less consistent than the other company's plate as a whole. So if you can answer that. The difference between Taylor's plate and the whole company's plate because she has a bigger standard deviation that will give you a merit. She has a higher standard deviation means she has a higher variation. In other words, her plates are less consistent than the overall company's plate. So you can answer that. That's a merit. M5 for you. Okay, now we're going to do part two. Part two is an excellent question and we shall need to bring a calculator to solve this. Okay, so I'm going to adjust the paper. And we are going to bring in the calculator. Okay, we're going to on the calculator. And we are going to go to the menu and go to statistics. Okay, good. Okay, so now hopefully the sun is not bright, shining too brightly. Okay, we shall solve this problem. Okay, so we shall read the question. And that's how it go. For Taylor's plates, more than 75% weigh more than 400 gram. We know that the standard, uh, the mean was 450, 400 had to be on the left, and 75% weighs more than 450, so 400, so it's going to be this area here is 0 0.75. What is the range of possible values of the standard deviation of weight of Taylor plates? Remember that in part A and part B, the standard deviation was 35, so we need to remember that it's more than 35 degree. Okay, so we need to calculate the standard deviation of Taylor's plate. To do that, this is a non-standardized, so 450, 400, the mean is 450, the more than 75% is 400, so that's the X value, and we, you know the area here is 0 0.75. Okay, so we need to find the Z value from the non we're doing the standardized, you need to use a graphic calculator to calculate the Z value. And then from the Z value, we're going to put in the formula and we are going to calculate the value of the uh, for standard deviation with the sigma. Okay. Okay. So to do that, we are going straight to the statistics. Okay. Then we go to distribution and normal F1. Then this time it's inverse normal. Whenever they ask you to calculate mean or standard deviation, we have to do a inverse normal with standardized inverse normal where the mean equal to zero and the standard deviation equal to one. So we're going to put inverse normal. Okay, so now it's on the right. So we're going to put on the right. So this is the right. So we're already done. Right. Execute. Okay, sorry. Then its area is 0.75 because the area is 0 0.75. Click in that. The sigma is going to be one. Okay, because it's standardized and the um, mu is zero. Once you've done that, execute the button and it's going to be zero. So your value for Z is going to be 0 0.6745. Okay, that's your Z value. Once you have found your Z value, you have to find your sigma by using this formula. Okay, so now I'm going to get rid of this calculator so that you have more space. So now your Z is now re replaced by this number, 0 0.6745. That is equal to X. X is 400 minus mu is 450. And then your sigma is what you're going to find. Okay. So now we're going to simplify them. 0 0.6745 equals to minus 50 over sigma. Because 400 minus 450 is minus 50. Okay. So now what we're going to do, we're going to multiply sigma on both sides. Or you can do direct to solver, but I'm going to use a, sh a long way method. 0 0.745 sigma, because you multiply by sigma on both sides, equal to negative 50. 
So in negative, I mean it's supposed to be negative because it's on the other side of the sigma. So to get sigma, you take minus 50 divided by negative 0 0.67, put in your calculator, and that should give you 74.12. 74.12, so it will be less than, okay? So sigma is less than 74.12. Because the first part of the standard division is more than 35, so the range of possible value of standard division is going to be between more than 35, but is less than 74.12. So gram. So if you can do this, that will be an excellence in this paper, and you should be on the way to get excellence in this, in this paper. Cheers everyone, and have a good day.